So I snuck out here today on my lunch break saying I'm gonna clean the garage finally as we've reached 142% saturation, meaning there is no place to put your foot down on the floor anymore. You couldn't even see the floor. But let me show you what I'm doing instead, rather than cleaning. I just had to try these new seats. Well, new to me, the interior of this VW was bluish, and these actually are black with bluish hints in them. This is just laying on there willy-nilly, but I think it's gonna work. Uh, if you're wondering, these seats are from a Mitsubishi Lancer. So uh, yeah, all you uh, Mitsubishi fans out there, we're borrowing your seats. They seem to fit great. Let me walk around and show you the other side. Here we are on the other side, and yeah, they they will will work. They might could work, as I say. Sorry, I can't get a good angle without anything getting in the way here. Can we see through the windshield? There's a glare. But they seem pretty pretty well fitted uh, width wise. I think I measured the rabbit seat, and it was something like 21 inches wide. Um, Right now they're kind of just laying here and I'm gonna have to weld that hole shut and then mount the stock bracket of the seat down. And then the other one, I don't know if you can see, the other one's gonna have to be cut and made flat because it's gonna be too tall on that crazy bracket unless I modify this seat brace. Again, this is just the first fit. Super preliminary, I shouldn't even be doing this. I'm just jumping way ahead just for my own sanité. But yeah, they're not too bulky. I've looked at a lot of other seats and some were just really big and bulky with really tall, big old headrests. Now, these I think do have an airbag, which of course we're not gonna run. So it's shoved in there somewhere, who knows where, but cut all the wires, nothing's gonna be wired up and pay $38 for two seats on a 50% off sale at Planet Auto in California. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. So look at that from the back, like that's a perfect fit. It's not too wide. There's obviously gonna be two of them. I have the second one. Uh, not sure if the seat belt thingy will be compatible, but I don't care because we can use the rabbit one, I guess. So it came with the seat. Clicky click. I may actually try it. I doubt it will click in there. Yep, there you go. So I should be out here cutting out this driver size seat rail and patching in those rust holes plus these rust holes. So let me show you what I've done instead. But instead, I decided to have some fun and delete the tripod seat, seat mount. See that dude over there? No dude over here. And I think this does slant down a bit. So I'm planning on running uh, a f like a two by two cut square tubing that I just cut enough to make this flush. That's going to close this gap and it's gonna give us a flat mountable for our Mitsubishi Lancer seats or some other conventional human seats, not alien German three-legged seats. Second verse, same as the first, but a whole lot louder and a whole lot worse. You guys remember singing that song as kids? Yeah, me neither. And just like that, the Mitsubishi Lancer, the Lancer seats are in. And all it took is one one inch spacer in the front, which could be a temporary solution. And I may be 
uh, doing something more permanent, but it's just mounted to the front there. And on the side, it's mounted to the side rail. I put a quarter inch spacer underneath here. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but my internal barometer told me that it was slightly off. They go forward and back. My, do they have lumbar? Lumbar Street, they do. So $38 for the set. So what is that each? 15 carry the one times circumference of the earth, $19 per seat. Let's take a look from the other side. So here it is from the other side. Let me show you the other bracket. This is why I like these seats. See how that stock bracket right here, there's no space underneath it. It just bolted right onto the uh, uh, almost a transmission tunnel. What are exhaust tunnels? Is that what they're called on these cars? So went right there. Let's take another look at this one. Now, don't criticize me which way that bolt is going. Uh, this seat is gonna come out 72 more times for cleaning, painting, readjustability. Notice uh, my favorite tools, the metric set has arrived. So I'm happy with those. But yeah, floors are done. Uh, I started on the roof, but I'm not going to show you that just yet. And right now I'm just celebrating the seat stuff. So I'm going to go pop in one. Yes, I am about to film myself getting into the car. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did because this was a fun little project. <laughs> so the seat wasn't adjusted in any way. I hope you guys can hear me, but we can obviously adjust it. This is uh, when your uh, girlfriend wants to drive the car. This is if your wife wants to drive the car. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, wow. This is six foot six certified. If any tall guys are interested in a overpriced underbuilt EV conversion coming soon. Oh yeah. This is, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a millimeter off. What is lumbar? I think that's not lumbar, that's twisting my butt. It's a butt twister 3000. Oh, so happy. I almost thought I found something that works, but nope, steering column's jacked. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Smile, maybe the first one of the project. Dang it. My door handle's broken. Shark tails. <sighs> but this is cool. That's the wife went to Target pose and you're waiting for her in the car. Oh, this is awesome. Nice and sturdy-ish. <laughs>